So uh, Red Sparrow has quite a complex storyline. Mm. Like if you if you lose concentration for a minute, you you lost basically. Um, how tricky was it to put something together like that? Uh, it's tricky. It was probably one of the trickier screenplays uh, that I've ever had to work on. I worked very closely with the writer Justin Haith in adapting the book, and we made some changes so we couldn't just follow the book exactly. Um, but I would say that the trickiest piece beyond the sort of puzzle of the, the intrigue, right, is trying to figure out how to make those moments work not only for the logic of the plot, but also to create the human truth to the moments within it, right? Because you have to be there on set one day and be speaking to actors and make sure that it feels real, that you're not just servicing plot, but that it feels real to the people that are inhabiting the story. And so it was really tricky. As well as in the edit, it's the first movie I've ever really had to show tons of people who know nothing of the story mm -hmm. to make sure that it's that it's working. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's quite different to say like The Hunger Games or Water for Elephants as well. Yes. Um, and it has that obviously the brutality yeah. and the sexu sexuality about it as well. From the very outset, we obviously get the broken leg. Yes. <laughs> um, so was there kind of like a, a, a a no holds barred kind of mentality when it came to it. It was. I mean, I'm to to a point. We had a no holds barred mentality to the movie. I mean, definitely the sort of tone and uh, is, was a big part of the movie. The brutality is a big part of the movie. There's an audaciousness that's a big part of the movie. But it's always my goal to not be too gratuitous. I wasn't interested in the gore. Um, I was also not interested in making it an erotic thriller. Mm -hmm. So. The, the the brutality and the sexuality in the movie was something that Jen and I actually worked really closely together on, as well as with the screenwriter, to make sure that it was really sort of married with narrative, had specific emotional values, was connected to the themes of the story, and that we just never went too too far. Yeah, this, the, it was the sounds more than anything that you knew yes. what was... Yeah. Yes, there's a scene, yeah, there's a torture scene with a skin grafting tool mm. that makes people very, very squeamish. Yeah. But I think when you see it, you actually don't see anything. You don't even really see, you don't see the wound getting created or anything like that. I didn't yeah. go for the gore, but sometimes withholding that can be more powerful than showing it. Yeah, and um, yeah, you've obviously, you've worked with Jennifer before. Yeah. How was it like working with her again? Was she always someone who you had in mind for that role? She was, yeah. I read the book while we were finishing Mockingjay 2, and as soon as I started reading the book and got to that character, I knew Jen could do it and wanted Jen to do it. So I finished it, knew it was something I wanted to make. I called her, pitched her. She said hypothetically, without reading a script, it sounded cool. And we just kind of developed it with her in mind and went from there. And so it was ready once the Mockingjay movies were done. Yeah. I mean, did she have any kind of, I'm not doing that kind of reactions? No, you know, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, I wasn't positive that she was going to want to do it once she read the script because of content. Uh, she decided she was going to do it. And I know, and you can talk to her about this, but I know that there was a moment where she knew, well, this is not the kind of movie that I say, I'll do it, but I'm not going to do a bunch of this stuff. It was either I'm going to do it or I'm not, and you can find somebody else to do it who wants to do the movie you want to make. And so once she signed on, she signed on to make, to make the movie. And then it was just she and I working together to make sure that she was as comfortable as possible and that we did it in the right way for the themes of the movie. Okay, and the rest of the, you got quite a great, the, the rest of the cast are quite good. Yes, um, yes. Was it, did you have any trouble getting any of those guys on board as well? No, no, actually not. I mean, there's always a little trickiness in terms of people's schedules and things, but <laughs> I think that the, the cast really responded to the, to the story. I think the cast, clearly a lot of them wanted to work with Jen. Um, and so, no, we didn't do any real convincing uh, at all, and we sort of lucked into getting all of our first choices for, for all of these roles and just, you know, ended up with an unbelievable cast. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking to me today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys, Is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!